following is based on the true story of Tammy Maida. Prince George, Canada. I'd like to find out about tryouts for your team. Well, that's great. We can always use new blood. George, keep an eye on things, will you? We'll be right back. All right. Come on, let's go. Come on, guys. All right, Blaylock, let's work some pests. Now? Now. Let's go. So, what brings you to Minville? I'm finishing my doctorate in psychology at Oregon State. We're only here for the school term. Okay, here you go. Uh, we practice Monday through Friday, noon to three till school starts. Good. I can work in a tryout any time. Good. I'll have her bring these back on Monday, okay? Sure. I'll need a doctor's certificate, too, but there's no rush. We won't start scrimmaging before... Uh... You just said her. Yeah, it's my daughter, Tammy. Your daughter, Tammy? Wants to be a football player. Mm -hmm. Well, golly, uh, sure would like to have Tammy on my team. But the uh, school board would never go for it. It's my tough luck. Are you saying we have to go to the school board first? Tell me something. Why in hell would you want to push your daughter into a man's sport like football? Don't you have any sons at home? No. And if I did, I wouldn't push them into playing football either. But if that's what they wanted to do, I'd try to give them the opportunity to do it. It's what Tammy wants. So when is this school board meeting? It's uh, a week from Friday. Good. We'll be there. Any other questions? Just one. What position does Tammy play? Quarterback. That's perfect. <laughs> has to vote on whether you even get a chance to try out. If they approve, then you get to bump heads with the rest of the team and show them what you can do. But I don't think the coach is going to be on your side. Still want to go through with it? Yeah. OK. We're with you all the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, you know. Let's gather them up and move them out.
regular city. Is there a movie? I don't know. That's what I'd like. Movie? I'd like to go to the movies. <laughs> Pizza! Mm -hmm. All right! Oh, Grizzly Country. Look at all those football players. They look big. Are you scared? No. Dad, can you stop? I gotta go. Me too. Hunter from Canada with a girl quarterback? Oh, yes. How did you know? Are you kidding? It's over. It's radio, television. <laughs> About how this girl wants to play for the Grizzlies. Damn silliest thing I ever heard. Uh, was one of those her? Yeah. Yeah? I thought she'd be a real big one. Uh, I mean, well, none of those girls look, well, you know, tough. A <laughs> couple of them will fool you. It's so big. Look at that house. It's the hotel. Okay. Come on, shots. It's huge. 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 Is the back door open? No. I'm going to go back to that Dairy Queen on the corner and call Mr. Hobart. Why is so big? What's wrong? Uh, Hobart has gone away for a few days. His wife doesn't know anything about the house. What? And she wasn't very friendly. What are we gonna do? Go to a motel? Not on our budget. Why don't we just camp out in the yard until he gets back? Hey, yeah. no, 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 Ralph. We cannot camp out in the middle of the Why town. Why not? It'd be just like backpacking on Fox Creek without the creek. Yeah. yeah. Come, on, Come on, let's get the tent, huh? Come on. Right. What do you think you're doing? You can't just pitch a tent in somebody else's yard. Actually, we rented it, but the landlord forgot it. Oh. You're the Canadians with a girl footballer. Well, where is she? Well, Mr. Klosterman and I were talking. It isn't natural. And neither are tents, and Lord knows what else. Cornelia, come. Thanks, honey. Ralph, that was the strangest woman. Really? You ought to meet Mr. Penzer. <laughs> there he is now. Hi, Mr. Penzer. <laughs> Mr. Penzer knows all about Danny. So did she. And I'm bewildered. Same. <laughs> but I found Lorenzo. That's my sneaker! Lorenzo ate my sneakers! Don't worry, Jody. We'll get you another pair. Those were my best sneakers. They were your only sneakers. Don't exaggerate. <laughs> Dad, do you think it's so terrible that I want to play football? No, of course not. If that's what you want, you can do it. Why not? And we're right behind you. Right. <laughs> can't conduct business with everyone talking at once. Mr. Kane, I believe you wish to say something in opposition to the matter before the board. Damn right I do. I oppose any girl playing football. It is an insult to the game. 
besides that, this is grizzly country. Yeah. We have a tradition here, don't we? You bet you can. Why don't we let her be a cheerleader? There you go. Give her a doll to play with. You all know my boy, BJ, right? He is going to have a great senior year this year at center. Now, what the hell chance is he going to have for a scholarship if he is snapping the ball to some girl reaching down there between his legs? <laughs> Mrs. Upchurch. There has been a suggestion from the floor uh, to make Miss Maida a cheerleader. Oh. <laughs> now, Tammy, my daughter, Tiffany, is a cheerleader. I just know she'd be happy to help bend the rules a little in your case. Wouldn't you like that, Tammy? Yeah. Yeah. No, ma'am, I wouldn't. Oh. What? I don't want to cheer, I want to play. Oh, oh that's God. ridiculous. I'm sorry that upsets everybody, but this is probably the only chance I'm going to have to at least try. I don't know, maybe I'm not good enough to make the team, but I sure would like to have a shot at it. The bottom line is the Oregon State Athletic Association says there's a federal regulation, Title IX, which requires equal athletic opportunities for boys and girls. Which means, which means, if we don't have a girls football team, we have to let her try out for the Grizzly. That's the law. Some law. Find a spot. Grass drills, Larry. Fan out, guys. All right, you heard the man. Jump! Take a snap in Canada. Blue. 
can do better than that, huh? Pick it up. Let's get it together. Hi, I'm BJ. Damn it! Play ball, son! Throw the ball like that. My mom. All right, gather up. Hold on. We're gonna have contact drills tomorrow, so check out your equipment. All right. Uh, you too, Maida. You can uh, get into pants and t-shirt in the girls' locker room, then uh, come pad up with the team. Final cuts on Friday. That's it. Hit the showers. Oh. Hey, guys. You made it. No, wait, I didn't make it. No, wait, the final cut's on the right. Just look what happened. What did you do? What did you do? I don't know. 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 people doing back there in the tent? You didn't leave the key. I forgot. You didn't say one word. About what? About having a daughter wants to play football. Oh, I don't remember reading anything that said I had to list all my daughter's extracurricular activities. Why? What do the others do? <laughs> Nothing unusual. Well, doesn't seem a fit activity for a girl. It's different, if you catch my meaning. Tammy, I'd like you to meet our new landlord. Mr. Hobart, my daughter Tammy. Hi. She's not big enough to play football. Pat Hayden was only 5'10". Well, you're her father, and maybe it's none of my business. But do you think it's proper for a nice little girl like this to... Well, I wouldn't want my daughter to be a grizzly. Mr. Hobart, we appreciate your advice. Now, if we could have the key, we'd like to move inside. All right. Rent's due first of the month. I know. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Hobart. <laughs> okay, gang, let's break camp. Come on, come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Moving in now, Mr. Penzer. Look, nobody wants the girl to make the team. That's right. That's right. So what is the problem? Off the record, she's got a good arm. Speed, reactions, good instincts. Ainsworth, you are a young man, and this is your first big job, so we're going to pretend that you didn't even say that. That's right. Now, I have seen her, and I don't care if she spits bullets. She is still a female, and females are different. Right. You can't depend on them. They are weaker. They are injury prone. Now, why even discuss it? Look, Mr. Kane, you don't have to tell me. I am telling you, Ainsworth, we want a winning season this year. So you just use your best judgment. We could have a winning team if we made a winning right the male. Team. You're damn right.
Hey, Maida, welcome to Grizzly Country. Yeah. 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 Guys, it's uh, Tammy Maida and her super bra. <laughs> <laughs> Made up, run a couple of plays in there. It's a simple handoff, nothing fancy. Let's go! Uh, I want to see a uh, set three. Set three. Okay, on one. Set. All right. All right, what's the matter, defense, huh? You're playing like you should be wearing dresses. Come on, let's go. Okay, coach. Sorry, I can juggle that. Let's go, you guys. Play it tough. Hey, hey, all right, this time let's do 25, all right? On one. Set. Hut. I'm sorry, okay? I'm fine. Damn it, Brian, don't you apologize to her. Now, this isn't a dancing class. Yet. All right, let's go again. So kill guys. Right. Hit the the, uh, Billy, right now. Same thing, all right? Same thing. On one. Watch your Watch the deep right. Set. Hut. Back off. Back off. All right, save it for the game, Grigsby. Tammy, play football okay, with me. I will. I'll play a little bit later, OK? You promise now. In a while. I'll get it. Keep your move. Hello? Yes. It's for you. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, um, thank you. I made it. Yes? What? Just a minute. No, no, no. wants to know how you feel about making the team. Oh, my God. Maida, Stuart from the Morning Herald. I'd like to talk to your daughter about this whole football. Come on in. Uh, no, I'm, I'm just I'm getting it. That's Tammy. They don't really know yet. <laughs> I'm looking for Tammy Maida. Maida. Uh, is that her? Excuse me, please. Team. That's right, Ken. I'm here to finish my doctorate in Oregon State. Jody, Tommy, hurry up. You'll be late. Breakfast, well. Okay, Say okay. Come oh, okay. on, girls. Let's eat. <laughs> I don't think so. No. <laughs> Moose and bear. Yes, I'll, I'll tell you. Thank you very much for calling. Okay, goodbye. Oh. Hello. Yes, she's very happy to be on the team. Ah, uh, go change your blouse. I don't think so. I want to wear this one. You can't wear a buttered blouse to school. The tracks fly. I don't care. Gidget. No, no, she can't. She has practice every afternoon. No, at evening time she has to do a homework. Yes, I will. I appreciate you calling. Thank you. Goodbye. You're still calling? <laughs> it never yeah. stops. Back in the box. Leave us alone. I mean, it's nobody's business what my measurements are if I have a boyfriend. What am I supposed to say to them? <laughs> what does Paul mean? You just think you're just hot stuff because everyone's been making such a deal about you. I do like... not. I hate it. Bull! What do you hey, mean, hey, bull? Hey, you hey, never hey, even say hey, anything listen, about this. Hey, you know, Stop it now. There's no room for bickering in this house. Do you understand? Dad, I was not bickering. Why now, do you wait a minute. So all quiet. this attention is like a puff of smoke. It's going to blow away before you know it. But before it does, we're all going to be affected by it in one way or another. The important thing is we all have to stick together. We're a family. 
right? Right. 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 Okay. Let's see. Gidget! Coming, Mommy! Gidget! Gidget come on! Hurry! I spent the night at Perry's. Oh, man, it's really wild. Oh. All right. John Elliott. Here. Darlene Fox. Here. Carolyn Hobbs. Here. Deanna Lyons. Here. Janelle Lee. Here. Tammy Maida. Here. Well, we are honored to have the lady athlete in our classroom. Thank you. Dale Petrie. Dale Petrie. Here. Thank you. Ken Richards. <laughs> Hey, hey, you're new here, right? Yeah. How come you haven't been in to see me? I'm sorry, I don't know. Oh, I don't I'm, know I'm Scott Massey. I'm a school orientation officer. They didn't tell you about me, right? They? No, I'm sorry. See, I'm, uh, I'm responsible for making sure uh, new students are familiarized with the school. Like, for instance, do you, uh, you know where the library is? Lunch? <laughs> Jim, the principal's office? No. That stuff? See, that's what I'm here for. Help you out, like, if you got a question or... Uh, you want to go to a movie or something? Damn, we met Scott already, huh? Figures. I don't believe a word he says. <laughs> Damn. Why do I know that name, huh? Tammy Maida. Come on, Tammy Maida, our new quarterback. With the female football player? No, you're not. I mean, she's got to be... You are? <laughs> Come on, what is this, a joke, huh? No. She really is. You really are. <laughs> oh, um, it was, it was a nice meeting. I'll see you later. She really is? Yeah. Let's see. Mrs. Maida, might we have a word with you? Woman to woman. Sure. We're, um, concerned mothers. And we want you to reconsider. Reconsider what? Allowing your daughter to play with the Grizzlies. Why? It's improper. It, it's not decent. Why? Girls belong with other girls. She's disrupting the whole school. The board approved a tryout, and the coach accepted her on the team. How can that be wrong? We don't want women's live in Menville. We raise our daughters to be ladies. Wait a minute. You know, you're amazing. You really are. My daughter wants to play a game. If the law gives her the right, and God gave her the ability, who are you to say that she can't? You don't understand oh, no, what we're trying, trying to say to you. To to you. Never mind. Never mind. Get back to me when you've elected a spokesperson. Okay, sometimes it's not easy. What do you mean? Just don't give me a hard time, all right? What, are you threatening me? <laughs> Just lay off. Yeah. 
And why the school hasn't installed artificial turf? Because the cheerleaders need a place to graze. All right, great Jamie, how's it going? Hi. Hi. Uh, Chuck, BJ, this is Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. She sure is. Hey, this, uh... Ready for practice? Yeah. All right, let's see you there. Okay. Nice meeting you. Bye. Oh, I would die if I had to practice with them every day. The first time I had my tryout, mm -hmm. they're all in lines doing calisthenics, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think I even knew I was going to be there. I walk up, and suddenly, everybody stops. They'll stare at you? All of them. Oh. Just, I, like, stop. I very slowly walk through the crowd. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. Sure, but don't tell my father. Okay. <laughs> Is it true they named the team Grizzlies after him? <laughs> yeah. Pop's pretty intense most of the time. Nobody's ever good enough to please him, including me. Well, especially me. You're All-State center. He wanted me to be All-State quarterback. Mm -hmm. And team captain. Student body president. Most popular, most representative. Most handsome. I decided to concentrate on most handsome. So don't let him get to you. Him or anybody around here. Just keep on keeping on. Okay? Okay. Thanks. Sure. See you tomorrow. See you.
Oh, we're so proud of you, honey. I'll be right back. I'll meet you in the car, okay? Right. Yeah, I knew she could make it. We've been working on it in practice. She's got good timing. Yeah. 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 Confidence in the huddle. Were people skeptical that she could do the job? No, no, not at all. Huh? We, no, no. no. Hey, 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 you've been supporting her all along. Do you think that if she's yeah. finally uh, proven yeah. herself now? Oh, she's proven herself. She proved herself the first day. She's the best. That's it. She's the best. Yeah. 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 On the bench, you were probably uh, not thinking you'd probably actually get into the football game. You did, and you won. It's got to be a big victory. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is. I was real excited. I was a little nervous, though. What was your feeling when you got put into the ball, ball game? Were you concerned? Were you nervous? Uh, please don't let me fumble. That's the first thing I did. Come on. Hey, Canada. Hi. How are you doing? Good. I watched the game. Yeah, so did I, most of it. No, you were... You were fantastic, I mean, when you got in. Yeah, it wasn't fantastic, but you thank are, you. You were, really. I've never seen a girl play as good as you did. Actually, I've never seen a girl play at all, but you were really good. Thanks. I'm in athletics, too. Yeah? Yeah. So are you doing anything tomorrow afternoon? No. Because uh, I was I was thinking maybe you'd, you'd maybe want to go out with me. Like, I don't know, if you didn't have any other plans or anything. No, I, I don't. That would be nice. Really? Yeah. Great. I guess uh, maybe I'll pick you up around noon. Okay. Dress casual. Okay. Later. Bye. It's over here, not far. Woo! Great, huh? Yeah. That's where I work at. For what? You play football, I do logging. You know, lumberjack events. Tree climbing, sawing, log rolling, that kind of stuff. There's a there's a tournament next month. I'm defending regional all-around champ. Congratulations. Here, put these on. You'll love this. Best one. After I get across, I'll swing it back to you. All right? Ready? No. Yeah, take these. What are you trying to prove? Nothing. Just figured you'd have a good time, that's all. You take all your dates out here to show them a good time? No. Most girls would probably hate this. I hate this. <sighs> I 
just thought, because you were in athletics and stuff, you'd like to go out and I thought this was a date, not an athletic competition. I get enough of that in football. See? I mean, how am I supposed to know what you like? You're so different from other that, girls. No, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I should get treated that way by everybody. The coach treats me different because I'm not a boy. You treat me different because I play football, right? Right, and they treat me different because they don't know what I am. Well, here's the news. I'm a girl. Have you got that? I'm a girl. I am. That was no win. It wasn't a win. That was a gift from the other team. For crying out loud, keep her on the bench. You know, I hate to say this, but she's as good as Keo. And she's better than Blaylock. It's impossible. Look, you're the coach. Coach him. No, you shouldn't like him. A little problem. Hey, Carolyn, I got my brother's car tonight. We're gonna go out to Alf's. Wanna come? Sure. Fabulous. Hey, I bet you'll like it. Uh, can she come with us? Yeah. Whatever. That's all right, thanks. Uh, come on. It'll be a kick. Okay. Great. Uh, we'll do it. <laughs> See you tonight. Bye. You're right. Here's a good idea for me to do with some girls for a change. What is else? Eats me. Well. <laughs> I should have studied. I'll help you study anytime. I'm great in biology. I bet. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> I'm great in biology. Oh, shut I up. Better oh. Where were you guys last weekend? Rick's party? Yeah. Oh, Rick's. Weren't you guys right there? I was at the Yeah, I was there. How was Rick's? What time were you? We'll get there about 11.30. Yeah. Hey there. Hi. Having a good time? No. No. I figured you'd be with Scott. Hey, Tammy, listen up. We've just been working on a new play for you, man. Set up in the arm formation. Look at this, look at this. Watch the wax job, muckhead. Watch the wax job. Hey, this is gonna blow you away. Check it out. Okay, set up all this. You're back here. I formation. Tight end in. Tight, real tight. I'm out over wide, all right? Drop back. Tight end slants right across the middle. Right there. It's perfect. It's our play. Six, right there. And then how we get set up? It's right there. <laughs> Seven yards. Slant Come on, right Peter. there. You know this or not, huh? We're in there. Touchdown. Six. What do you think? Yeah. Huh? That's it? Good work. Yeah. involved in this movie. I get choked up every time I see it. Your face look like a foot. Everybody acts like I'm from Mars. You know, except the guys on the team, and they all act like I'm just another guy on the team. Well, aren't you? Yeah. I just don't know where I fit in. Maybe I'm just weird. <laughs> you're not weird, you're just growing up. Are you happy? I mean, being a woman, being married, having all of us. You know I'm happy. I did want to be a singer. But then I met your father and suddenly it wasn't important anymore. Of course, there wasn't any real choice then. I mean, a woman 
was expected to marry a man and start having babies and raise a family and live happily ever after. But I'm glad I made that choice. And yeah, I'm happy. But you know, you can do anything. You can have everything. You can even play football if you want. The trouble is that attitudes just haven't kept up with the opportunities. And some people think a girl grizzly makes their team a joke. And they're frightened. Because to them, you represent a world they just don't understand. It's a heavy load to lie on someone. Well, it's not the end of the world. You can always quit. I don't want to quit. Oh, Tammy. Come here. Oh. I love you. All right, that wasn't a win, Friday. That was a gift. I've seen harder hitting in supermarkets by little old ladies with shopping carts. Grigsby, Blaylock, what's so funny? You guys couldn't hit anybody unless they bumped into you first. All right, give me two laps. Try to finish by dark. The rest of you guys get back to your drills. Your pants, Brian! Our linemen, linebackers, to the sleds. Ends. Centers, backs. Over here. Made up. Let's talk. Well, coach, you're starting Keo again. Oh. But stay alive. I'm getting you in as early as possible. We're going to start working Roger at halfback. Um, meaning what? You take game pressure better. How we doing, Mr. Penzer? Oh, being attacked by midgets. Play around your lair out. Mr. Penzer says we're building the garden spot of America. Uh, <laughs> leave Mr. Penzer alone and help me with this ladder, would you? Okay. That's your service, madam. I... Man, I'd never catch my mother climbing around a ladder like that. <laughs> Ever notice how most parents seem older than they should? Yours seem younger. Yeah, I guess they're not exactly typical, are they? Hey, slaves, no work, no lunch. He's worse than the coach. Listen, if you guys don't want to hang around, it's fine, really. Hey, no way do we let the grizzly soon to be starting QB mess with manual labor. Yeah, man, you could bust a fingernail or something. There goes Magic Hands and Maida for the rest of the season. And I'd have to play. Here, don't hurt yourself. All right. I need it. Oh! Get it on purpose! No, I really didn't. Just go ahead and laugh! Because everyone at school's been laughing at you ever since we got here. You think you're so great at parading around because you're better than us? Just because you're on TV, I don't care. I don't want to be on TV. I don't want to be your sister. Let's 
wasting them at every point. Yeah, no kidding. All right, we're gonna concede the rush and fake him with a sucker play. All right, wait, 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 what sucker play? That's our play. That's the one we drew on my car. I, I wasn't there. What am I doing? Check him on. Seven yard curl. All right. You got it? Yeah. All right. Lemon Eye, pass to the tight end on one. Centers? On one. Ready? Go! One left. Four dive, one. Okay, listen up. We're changing it. We're changing it. Red, 28 blast. Wing back in motion on three. Centers. Roger. Go for it all. Ready? Go. Go. Trying to start you from now on. Hey, or you? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> My old man wants me to get a varsity letter. I don't care if I never get in the game. Stay healthy, you know. I know. Oh, do you know what Scott did after the game? No, what? He picked a fight with that linebacker who took all those late hits on you. What? Guess you got a bodyguard, huh? Is he here? Yeah, he's over there. Um, Scott. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, okay. In private? All right. Who asked you to fight my battles? What? Don't give me what. You got that eye from that guy who kept decking me. You made me mad. So what? Listen, I don't need you sticking up for me, all right? If I can't take my hits out there like everybody else, I shouldn't be out there. Well, but you're a girl. Isn't that what you said? Yes, but not when I'm playing. Oh, what are you then? What do you mean, what am I? Look, maybe putting on all those, all those pads makes you forget that you're a girl. But I know what's underneath. Look, mm -hmm. when I'm playing, I'm... when I'm not playing, I I'm, I'm a girl, yes. But when I'm playing, I'm not a male exactly, but I'm not, not, not a girl either. That doesn't mean that. You... No. Football doesn't. Kind of confusing, huh? Yeah. You want to try and work it out after the game next week? Good game. some of those things that I said the other day. Jody and Heidi, they're crazy about their sister. It's only you. 
They don't even exist or something. I never meant for any of this to happen. You know that. But you're right. I've only been thinking about myself lately, and I'm sorry, too. Are we sisters again? And you were right about something else. I'm just a joke at school. <sighs> Tiffany Upchurch is a dip. You're right. <laughs> Guess what? I'm going out after the next game with Scott Massey. Are you kidding? <laughs> That's great. This time you have to do it right, okay? Okay. What are you going to wear? I don't know. You have any ideas? My beige sweater. No, it's too small. Right. <laughs> you may call it football. I don't call it football. 10-7. That's a legitimate win, Mr. King. 10-7. I wouldn't call it decisive. Sprint on one. Centers on one. Ready? Right. Woo! Did you see that? Super Jack, you know, then punching that guy out last week, it was stupid. That's okay. I just wasn't prepared for you and all this. Hmm. Even the rest of this town. No. No, I'm not like them. It's just, I, I figured a girl wants to play football, go for it, right? But uh, I also figured she'd probably be six foot three with tattoos or something, you know? And you show up. You changed your mind? No, not exactly. Never dated a quarterback before. <laughs> hey, it's different when it gets personal. See, first I, <clears throat> I was afraid you'd think I was a wimp, you know, because I, because I'm not on the team. And then I was afraid. <sighs> I was afraid what the other guys would say if, if I took you out, you know, in public. Listen, it's, if you don't want to be seen with me, Tammy, it's... it's okay. I worked it out. I... I realize I'm gonna get a lot of ribbon and stuff, but that's okay. I can take it. I'm a big guy. Well, I'm real proud of you, Scott. I'm proud of you, too. Covering the story of Minville's unique young quarterback, 
Pat Hilberg followed up on the story. Talking about oh! playing for the Grizzlies. Terrific. I understand you're a psychologist and a moose hunter? No, no, I'm a moose psychologist. <laughs> I treat psychologically disturbed moose, many of whom become very depressed during the hunting season. <laughs> right. Um, Mrs. Maida, do you have a... Are, are you afraid at all about Tammy getting hurt out there? No, she's too good. Oh, look! Oh, 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 cute! Yeah. Okay, so how about it? Well, it's our only overnight trip. It's only one night. I want to stay with the team. Will they give you your own room? No, but I'll be with the then team. Then I have to take you. Mom, to the team, I'm just another one of the guys. <laughs> no, seriously. Besides, there's going to be four to a room, so that means I'll be sleeping with three guys. I'm going to go study before I have a heart attack. Come on, what could happen in the room with three boys? You want to take that, Doc? <laughs> no way. You are so antediluvian. Tammy. There's got to be a limit to your intimacy with the team. Now, either I take you and we stay in a room together, or you stay here. We can't afford that. We'll scrimp. The doctor said it's a bad spring. I have to go on the first play, but I got right up, Dad. I never cried. The Wolverines beat us 38 to 7. Honey. Hey. Don't you know you have a right to cry? <laughs> you don't always have to be the toughest kid on the block. Good, because I'm not. Same events as last year. We have choker setting, we have axe throw, log rolling, and tree climbing. High school loggers will be competing against one another on head-to-head -head competition. This year we have a fine match between Scott Massey and Donnie Montgomery for the all-around. And today is going to decide who will be the all-around champion. I'm okay. Come charging and holding me up. Sorry, I thought you were hurt. Ladies and gentlemen, tree climbing winner and the new all-around champion, Donnie Montgomery. 
Oh, bad enough I'd lose. I'm gonna get carried off the field by our lady quarterback. I didn't carry you. Besides, I thought we'd been through all of yeah, this. Yeah, we have. It just rubbed me the wrong way for a second, okay? What, that I'm a lady or that I'm a quarterback? I wouldn't mind either if you weren't both. Well, I am. At least for one more game, and if that bothers you, then I'm real sorry. Hey, Canada. Come on! Oh, damn. I'd make a great homecoming princess. I'm perfect. <laughs> I can't believe it. You gotta vote for me. <laughs> I think I'm the best cares to what happened between you and Scott? Nothing. Look at Tiffany Upchurch. I've never seen anyone campaign so hard for homecoming. <sighs> Listen, I'll see you later, okay? We gotta go. Okay, see ya. I told you. A female couldn't hold up. You've been on my back all season. We are six and one and in the championship. Now, is there anything wrong with that? Yeah, but now you've got a hole at quarterback. Now we're going to see what kind of a coach you are. All right, Friday's it. It's the last game. We do not want to end the season with two losses, right? Right! We do not want to lose. Right! right so what are we going to do about it? Win! What are we going to do? Win! I can't hear you guys. Win! That's right. So no last week let up. I want 110% from every one of you on every play at every practice. You got it? Yeah! All right, hit it! Oh! All right, offense, defense, down here. Let's go. Easy on that ankle, Mato. Okay, we're going to work some diving plays, huh? Okay, we'll go red, 34 dive on one, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Blue! Damn it. <laughs> Forgot to mention, I nominated you for Homecoming Princess. <laughs> oh, you what? Homecoming Princess, I nominated you. <laughs> <laughs> By now, you're all familiar with the Grizzlies girl quarterback. Well, now her classmates at Minville High have nominated her for homecoming princess. Going into it all, six and one record. You can see they're training hard for this year. What an arm. What an arm. No matter the outcome, the Minville Grizzlies will have a season to remember with quarterback. And what about the rumor that B.J. Kane, their all-state center, is running for Miss Oregon? I've been talking to the coach and the kids and they're all worried. Miss Tammy, if you're going to run for homecoming princess, you'll need a beautiful gown and stuff. Oh, yeah, I bet they cost a lot of money. Uh, let's talk about it later, okay? Female quarterback, what an interesting situation. The coaches are very high on her. She's got great energy. The kids are all behind her. May I help you? Uh, okay. Um, we're looking for a, a like a, a formal. Fine. And who would this be for? Oh, friend of ours. <laughs> I see. Would you know the size? Oh, she comes up, up to about here on me. Um, oh, the program says she's uh, five, six, 120 pounds, yeah. and she's uh, um, built. Come on, man, built? Isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. she's built. Oh. Well, this is the girl that plays football over at the high school. Got it. Yeah. I think it's absolutely marvelous what she's doing. Just marvelous. Uh -huh. Right, right. And you know, she's running for homecoming princess. So we took up a collection to buy her a nice dress. Oh, you're her playmates. Teammates. Yeah, teammates. <laughs> teammates. Teammates. Yes. Now, how much were you prepared to spend? Um, we have almost uh, $125. Oh. Oh, well, I'm sure that we can find something absolutely sensational for that. Uh, why don't you just follow me, boys? 
Why don't you take a look at these gowns over here, and I'll be in the back for just a moment. <laughs> hey, cut it out. <laughs> I think this would be perfect for her. Can we have that for? One hundred and twenty-five dollars. Hey, all right. Thanks, hon. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Morning, Mr. Klosterman. Have a nice day, Mr. Klosterman. Keep smiling, Mr. Klosterman. Thank you very much, Mr. Klosterman. I'll keep smiling, too. Oh, maybe you could stop by for a cup of coffee afterwards. Mrs. Maida, do you have time for a cup of coffee? Uh, sure. wants so badly to play that she acts like she is. We can't even keep her away from practice. Oh. Well, I do hope she'll be all right. You know, I never kept up with sports before you folks moved in. But now, seeing her on TV all the time makes it very interesting. And she always conducts herself like a perfect lady. Oh, I, I don't just a TV. We see her around the house, too, all your daughters. You must be very proud. I am. Uh, none of us around here knew quite what to expect when we first heard who was moving into the Hobart place, so we were all pretty cool at first. I don't need to tell you that. No. No. Uh, but now, even Mr. Klosterman was just speaking how pleased he is to have you folks in the neighborhood. <laughs> Could have fooled me. Oh, you know, men, sometimes they strike first impressions about people and then they change their minds, but, but they can never seem to uh, find a way to admit it. Some men are so stubborn, they can't come right out and admit it when they're wrong. Say, uh, I'm sorry. You know, I almost forgot. I've got a coffee ring warming in the oven. It's an old family recipe. And I'd hoped you'd like it.
it on? Yeah. They won't let us in to see. Well, the dress is no good? Oh, it's great. This bonehead mouthed off. I sense she looks a little effeminate. <laughs> Glad the Hawks won't see her looking like that. Why not? She's, she's like a older person. Like who? Like a woman. Ah, uh, I'm kinda nervous. Why? Well, I'm gonna be there. You can't be nervous. No. <laughs> hey, Tammy, we voted for you. Thanks. <laughs> Stop looking like that. I'm not winning. I'm You're not gonna... so cynical. I'm not gonna. Tammy! Oh. Tammy, I just wanted to wish you well in the election. May the best man win. Thank you, Tiffany. No hard feelings. You and I haven't been real close, have we? No, and I regret that. Sincerely? Desperately. I've kind of enjoyed it. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> Stop. Don't laugh right here. It makes it worse. <laughs> says he doesn't intend to use it, so there's nothing to worry about. Maybe. Hi. Tammy. How are you doing? Yeah, we can go. Tammy. Yeah. We don't want you getting hurt. I won't, I promise. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, be One play can break this game open, so no mistakes. Now, you've played a great season. Now, give it all you got. This is a game tonight you'll never forget. Now, I'm proud of all you guys. Now, go out there with that pride that each one of you have and do your very best. Right on the hit. Hit! Pride! Hit! Pride! Hit! Pride! Coach, give me one Now, go on in, Maida. You could have bought a ticket for this one. This game, so let's go. Let's concentrate. Execute. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get 
in there. Basic handoffs, no heroics, all right? Come on, Mayday. Come on, Mayday. Come on, Lemon 36 dive on one. Okay, on one. Centers. Ready? on ones. Everybody know what they're doing? You got it? Yeah. Okay, on one. Centers. Ready? Come on, Jack. Clark! 24! Next year, you're going to be here, and I'm going to be in Canada. We still got till June, right? Yeah. And after that, whatever happens will happen. I just, I want you to know that I'm, I'm going to think about this time in my life. I'm going to think about you. I'm going to remember. And the winner is Miss Tammy Maida. Two, Maida. 
from the team, so you remember us when you're in Canada with the moose. I'll miss your hands, man. Um. I guess that, uh, most of you know that I'm, I'm not gonna be here next year. Thank the team very much. And um, just say that I'm going to miss you all. A lot. Super Jack, you know, then punching that guy out last week, it was stupid. That's okay. I just wasn't prepared for you. I mean, all this. Listen, even the rest of this town. No. No, I'm not like them. It's just, I, I figured a girl wants to play football, go for it, right? But uh, I also figured she'd probably be six foot three with tattoos or something, you know? And you show up. You changed your mind? No, not exactly. Never dated a quarterback before. <laughs> hey, it's different when it gets personal. See, first I, <clears throat> I was afraid you'd think I was a wimp, you know, because I, because I'm not on the team. 
And then I was afraid. I was afraid what the other guys would say if if I took you out, you know, in public. Listen, if you don't want to be seen with oh, me, Tammy, it's okay. I worked it out. I, I realize I'm gonna get a lot of ribbon and stuff, but that's okay. I can take it. I'm a big guy. Well, I'm real proud of you, Scott. I'm proud of you too. You should be wearing dresses. Come on, let's go. Okay, coach. Sorry, I can jog it back. Let's go, guys. Hey, hey, Scott. All right, this time let's do 25, all right? Mike Ryan. On one. Okay, what's the Set. Hut. I'm sorry, okay? Oh, fine. Damn it, Brian, don't you apologize to her. Now, this isn't a dancing class. Yet. All right, let's go again. So kill guys. Right. Right. Hey, right. 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 Same thing, all right? Same thing. Same thing. On one. Watch the gap. Watch the deep right. Set. Hut. Back off. All right. Back all right. off. All right, save it for the game, Grigsby. Tammy, play football okay. with me. Okay, I will. I'll play a little bit later, okay? You promise now. In a while. I'll get it. Hello? Yes. It's for you. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, um, thank you. I made it. <laughs> Mrs. Maida, Stuart from the Morning Herald. I'd like to talk to your daughter about this whole football. Uh, come on in. Tammy. They don't really know you. I'm looking for Tammy Maida. Maida. Uh, is that her? Excuse me, please. very happy to be on the team. That's right, Ken. I'm here to finish my doctorate in Oregon State. <laughs> oh, look, this Mormon. Oh, and Dennis. Roger. Yeah, Grizzlies. Well, what are you doing, Maida? Breaking training? Sorry. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How'd you in the biology quiz? Oh, bummer. I should have studied. I'll help you study anytime. I'm great in biology. I bet. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> I'm great in biology. Oh, shut up. I bet I don't Where were you guys last weekend? Rick's party? Yeah. Oh, Rick's. Weren't you guys there? Yeah, I was there. 
Hell's Rick's. What time were you? Look at there about 1130. Yeah. Hey there. Hi. Having a good time? No. No. I figured you'd be with Scott. Hey, Tammy, listen up. We've just been working on a new play for you, man. Set up in the arm formation. Look at this. Look at this. Hey, watch the wax job, Muckhead. What the wax job? Hey, this is going to blow you away. Check it out. OK. You're back here. I formation. Tight end in. Tight. Real tight. I'm out of wide, all right? Drop back. Tight end slants right across the middle. Right there. It's perfect. It's our play. Six. Right there. Then are we set up? It's right there. <laughs> Seven yards. Slant right there. Come on, right there. You know this or not, huh? We're in there. Touchdown. Six. What do you think? Yeah. Huh? That's it? Good work. Yeah. involved in this movie. I get choked up every time I see it. Your face look like a foot. Everybody acts like I'm from Mars. Except the guys on the team, and they all act like I'm just another guy on the team. Well, aren't you? Yeah. I just don't know where I fit in. Maybe I'm just weird. <laughs> you're not weird, you're just growing up. Are you happy? I mean, being a woman, being married, having all of us. You know I'm happy. I did want to be a singer. But then I met your father. I have nominated her for Homecoming Princess. Oh, 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 Season to remember with <laughs> <two different Yeah. laughs> quarterback. And what about the rumor that BJ Kane, their all state center, is running for Miss Oregon? I've been talking with the coach and the kids in the all world. Miss Tammy, if you're gonna run for homecoming, Princess, you'll need a beautiful gown and stuff. Oh, yeah, I bet they cost a lot of money. Uh, let's talk about it later, okay? Female quarterback. What an interesting situation. The coaches are very high on her, she's got great energy. The kids are all behind her. May I help you? Uh, okay. Um, we're looking for a, a like a, f a formal. Fine. And who would this be for? Oh, friend of ours. <laughs> I see. Would you know the size? Oh, she comes up, up to about here on me. Um, oh, the program says she's uh, five, six, 120 pounds, and she's uh, um, built. Come on, man, built? Isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. she's built. Oh. Why, this is the girl that plays football over at the high school. Got it. Yeah. I think it's absolutely marvelous what she's doing. Just marvelous. Uh -huh. Right, right. And you know she's running for homecoming princess. So we took up a collection to buy her a nice dress. Oh, you're her playmates. Teammates. Yeah, teammates. <laughs> teammates. Teammates. Yes. Now, how much were you prepared to spend? Um, we have almost uh, $125. Oh. Oh, well, I'm sure that we can find something absolutely sensational for that. Uh, why don't you just follow me, boys? Why don't you take a look at these gowns over here, and I'll be in the back for just a moment. <laughs> hey, cut it out. <laughs> <Sure. laughs> I 
I think this would be perfect for her. Can we have that for? One hundred and twenty-five dollars. What are you thinking? Oh. At this time next year, you're going to be here and I'm going to be in Canada. We still got till June, right? Yeah. And after that, whatever happens will happen. I just, I want you to know that I'm, I'm going to think about this time in my life. I'm going to think about you. I'm going to remember. From the team, so you remember us when you're in Canada with the moose. I'll miss your hands, man. Um, I guess that uh, most of you know that I'm I'm not going to be here next year. Thank the team very much. And um, just say that I'm going to miss you all. A lot. Best judgment. We could have a winning team of the sure male. Right right You're damn right. Maida, welcome to Grizzly Country. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, it's uh, Tammy Maida and her super bra. <laughs> <laughs> You should be wearing dresses. Come on, let's go. Okay, coach. Sorry, I'm All right, let's go, guys. Play tough. Hey, hey, Scott. All right, this time let's do 25, all right? Mike 
On one. Set. Hut. I'm sorry, okay? Oh, fine. Damn it, Brian, don't you apologize to her. Now, this isn't a dancing class. Yet. All right, let's go again. So go, guys. Right. 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 Oh, the, uh, Billy, right now. Same thing, all right? Same thing. On one. Leg Watch your step. Watch your deep right. Set. Hut. Back off. Back off. All right, save it for the game, Grigsby. Damn, he played football okay, with me. I will. I'll play a little bit later, OK? You promise now. In a while. I'll get it. Keep your move. Hello? Yes. It's for you. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, um, thank you. I made it. Mara, I should have studied. I'll help you study anytime. I'm great in biology. I bet. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> you lose. I'm great in biology. Oh, shut up. I'm better than all of them. Where were you guys last weekend? Rick's party? Yeah. Oh, Rick's. Weren't you guys there? Yeah, I was there. How's Rick's? What time were you? We'll get there about 11.30. Yeah. Hey there. Hi. Having a good time? No. No. I figured you'd be with Scott. Hey, Tammy, listen up. We've just been working on a new play for you, man. Set up in the art formation. Look at this. Look at this. Hey, watch the wax job, Mucky. Watch the wax job. Hey, this is going to blow you away. Check it out. OK. Set up all this. You're back here. Eye formation. Tight at the end. Tight. Real tight. I'm out over wide, all right? Drop back. Tight end slants right across the middle. Right there. It's perfect. It's our play. Six right there. Then are we set up? It's right there. <laughs> Seven yards slant right there. Come on, right Peter. You're not this or not, huh? We're in there. Touchdown. What do you think? Yeah. Huh? That's it? good work. Yeah. Yay! Hello, Bedford Falls! Wait enough. Oh, I just got involved in this movie. I get choked up every time I see it. Your face look like a foot. Everybody acts like I'm from Mars. Except the guys on the team, and they all act like I'm just another guy on the team. Well, aren't you? Yeah. I just don't know where I fit in. Maybe I'm just weird. <laughs> you're not weird, you're just growing up. Are you happy? I mean, being a woman, being married, having all of us. You know I'm happy. I did want to be a singer. But then I met your father and suddenly it wasn't important anymore. Of course, there wasn't any real choice then. I mean, a woman was expected to marry a man and start having babies and raise a family and live happily ever after. But I'm glad I made that choice. Grizzlies, here we go. Here we go, Grizzlies. 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 Here we go. and lean on her a little. All right, Grizzly offense on the field. Marvin, Demi, Roger alternated quarterback. You, Chuck, and Dennis are wide receivers. That's 20-yard crossing patterns, huh? You know how quarterbacks take a snap in Canada? Blue! 
the ball like that. My mom. All right, gather up. We're going to have contact drills tomorrow, so check out your equipment. All right? Uh, you too, Maida. You can uh, get into pants and T-shirt in the girls' locker room, then uh, come pad up with the team. Final cuts on Friday. That's it. Hit the showers. Oh. Hey, guys. You made it. No, wait, I didn't make it. No, wait, the Did final you like it? Oh, yeah. Look what she made. She made. What did you do? 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 Mr. Hallmark, nice to see you. What are you people doing back there in the tent? You didn't leave the key. I forgot. You did. Where are we going? Come on, it's over here, not far. Woo! Great, huh? Yeah. That's where I work at. For what? When you play football, I do logging. You know, lumberjack events, tree climbing, sawing, log rolling, that kind of stuff. There's a there's a tournament next month. I'm defending regional all around champ. Congratulations. Here, put these on. You'll love this. the best one. After I get across, I'll swing it back to you, all right? Ready? No. Uh, yeah, take these. What are you trying to prove? Nothing. Just figured you'd have a good time, that's all. You take all your dates out here to show them a good time? No. Most girls would probably hate this. I hate this. I just thought, because you were in athletics and stuff, you'd like to go out and I do thought something. this was a date, not an athletic competition. I get enough of that in football. See, I mean, how am I supposed to know what you like? You're so different from other that, girls. No, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I sure get treated that way by everybody. The coach treats me different because I'm not a boy. You treat me different because I play football, right? Right, and they treat me different because they don't know what I am. Well, here's the news. I'm a girl. Have you got that? I'm a girl. I am. Well, is um, Tammy better after her accident? 
What? She, um, she wants so badly to play that she acts like she is. We can't even keep her away from practice. Oh. Well, I do hope she'll be all right. You know, I never kept up with sports before you folks moved in. But now, seeing her on TV all the time makes it very interesting. And she always conducts herself like a perfect lady. Oh, I, I don't mean just a TV. We see her around the house, too, all your daughters. You must be very proud. I am. Uh, none of us around here knew quite what to expect when we first heard who was moving into the Hobart place, so we were all pretty cool at first. I don't need to tell you that. No. No. Uh, but now, even Mr. Klosterman was just speaking how pleased he is to have you folks in the neighborhood. <laughs> Could have fooled me. Oh, you know, men, sometimes they strike first impressions about people and then they change their minds, but, but they can never seem to uh, find a way to admit it. Some men are so stubborn, they can't come right out and admit it when they're wrong. Say, uh, I'm sorry. You know, I almost forgot. I've got a coffee ring warming in the oven. It's an old family recipe. And I'd hoped you'd like it. Mr. Klosterman, I'll keep smiling, too. Oh, maybe you could stop by for a cup of coffee after Mrs. Mrs. Maida. Do you have time for a cup of coffee? Uh, sure. wants so badly to play that she acts like she is. We can't even keep her away from practice. Oh. Well, I do hope she'll be all right. You know, I never kept up with sports before you folks moved in. But now, seeing her on TV all the time makes it very interesting. And she always conducts herself like a perfect lady. Oh, I, I don't just a TV. We see her around the house, too, all your daughters. You must be very proud. I am. Uh, none of us around here knew quite what to expect when we first heard who was moving into the Hobart place, so we were all pretty cool at first. I don't need to tell you that. No. No. Uh, but now, even Mr. Klosterman was just speaking how 
pleased he is to have you folks in the neighborhood. <laughs> Could have fooled me. Oh, you know, men, sometimes they strike first impressions about people and then they change their minds, but, but they can never seem to uh, find a way to admit it. Some men are so stubborn, they can't come right out and admit it when they're wrong. Say, uh, I'm sorry. You know, I almost forgot. I've got a coffee ring warming in the oven. It's an old family recipe. And I'd hoped you'd like it. Okay, guys, let's show them we're Grizzlies. Red 184 sprint on one. Centers on one. Ready? Right. Woo! Did you see that? Super Jack, you know, then punching that guy out last week. It was stupid. That's okay. I just wasn't prepared for you. I mean, all this. Listen, you and the rest of this town. No. No, I'm not like them. It's just, I, I figured a girl wants to play football, go for it, right? But uh, I also figured she'd probably be six foot three with tattoos or something, you know? And you show up. You changed your mind? No, not exactly. Never dated a quarterback before. <laughs> hey, it's different when it gets personal. See, first I, <clears throat> I was afraid you'd think I was a wimp, you know, because I, because I'm not on the team. And then I was afraid. <sighs> I was afraid what the other guys would say if, if I took you out, you know, in public. Listen, because if you don't want to be seen with don't me, Tammy, it's... it's okay. I worked it out. I... I realize I'm gonna get a lot of ribbon and stuff, but that's okay. I can take it. I'm a big guy. Well, I'm real proud of you, Scott. I'm proud of you, too. Calisthenics, right? I don't think anyone knew I was gonna be there. I walk up and suddenly everybody stops. They'll stare at you. All of them. Oh. I like stop. I very slowly walk through the crowd. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks for the ride. Sure, but don't tell my father. Okay. Is it true they named the team Grizzlies after him? <laughs> yeah. Pop's pretty intense most of the time. Nobody's ever good enough to please him, including me. Well, especially me. You're All-State center. He wanted me to be All-State quarterback. Ooh. And team captain. Student body president. Most popular. Most representative. Most handsome. I decided to concentrate on most handsome. So don't let him get to you. Him or anybody around here. Just... Keep on keeping on. Okay? Okay. 
Thanks. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you. Tammy, how's it going? Hi. Hi. Uh, Chuck, BJ, this is Carolyn. Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. She's really Check this out. Ready for practice? Yeah. All right, let's see you there. Okay. Nice meeting you. Bye. Oh, I would die if I had to practice with them every day. The first time I had my tryout, mm -hmm. they're all in lines doing calisthenics, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think I even knew I was going to be there. I walk up, and suddenly, everybody stops. They all stare at you? All of them. Oh. <laughs> I very slowly walk through the crowd. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks for the ride. Sure, but don't tell my father. Okay. <laughs> Is it true they named the team Grizzlies after him? <laughs> yeah. Pop's pretty intense most of the time. Nobody's ever good enough to please him, including me. Well, especially me. You're all state center. He wanted me to be all state quarterback. Mm -hmm. And team captain, student body president, most popular, most representative, most handsome. I decided to concentrate on most handsome. So don't let him get to you. Him or anybody around here. Just keep on keeping on. Okay? Okay. Thanks. See you tomorrow. See you.
Did you think she could get the ball to you? No, yeah, yes, I knew she could make it. We've been working on it in practice. She's got good timing. Yeah. 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 Confidence in the huddle. Were people skeptical that she could do the job? No, no, not at all. Huh? We, no, no. no. Hey, 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 guys, guys, guys. You've been supporting her all along. Do you think that if she's yeah. finally uh, proven herself now? Huh? Oh, she's proven herself. She proved herself the first day. She's the best. That's it. She's the best. Yeah. 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 On the bench, you were probably uh, not thinking you'd probably actually get into the football game. You did, and you won. It's got to be a great victory. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is. I was real excited. I was a little nervous, though. What was your feeling when you got put into the ball, ball game? Were you concerned? Were you nervous? Uh, please don't let me fumble. That's the first thing I did. Come on. Hey, Canada. Hi. How are you doing? Good. I watched the game. Yeah, so did I, most of it. No, you were... You were fantastic, I mean, when you got in. Yeah, it wasn't fantastic, but you thank were, you. <laughs> you were, really. I've never seen a girl play as good as you did. Actually, I've never seen a girl play at all, but you were really good. Thanks. I'm in athletics, too. Yeah? Yeah. So are you doing anything tomorrow afternoon? No. Because uh, I was I was thinking maybe you'd, you'd maybe want to go out with me. Like, I don't know, if you didn't have any other plans or anything. No, I, I don't. That would be nice. Really? Yeah. Great. I guess uh, maybe I'll pick you up around noon. Okay. Dress casual. Okay. Later. Bye. It's over here, not far. Woo! Great, huh? Yeah. That's where I work at. For what? You play football, I do logging. You know, lumberjack events. Tree climbing, sawing, log rolling, that kind of stuff. There's a there's a tournament next month. I'm defending regional all-around champ. Congratulations. Here, put these on. You'll love this. Yeah, I knew she could make it. We've been working on it in practice. She's got good timing. Yeah. 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 Confidence in the huddle. Were people skeptical that she could do the job? No, no, not at all. Huh? We, no, no. no. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, BG, guys, guys. Yeah. You've been supporting her all along. Do you think that if she's yeah. finally uh, proven yeah. herself now? Oh, she's proven herself. She proved herself the first day. She's the best. That's it. She's the best. Yeah. 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 On the bench, you were probably uh, not thinking you'd probably actually get into the football game. You did, and you won. It's got to be a great victory. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is. I was real excited. I was a little nervous, though. What was your feeling when you got put into the ball, ball game? Were you concerned? Were you nervous? Uh, please don't let me fumble. That's the first thing I did. Come on. Hey, Canada. Hi. How are you doing? Good. I watched the game. Yeah, so did I. Most of it. No, you were. You were fantastic, I mean, when you got in. Yeah, it wasn't fantastic, but you thank were, you. <laughs> you were, really. I've never seen a girl play as good as you did. Actually, I've never seen a girl play at all, but you were really good. Thanks. I'm in athletics, too. Yeah? Yeah. So are you doing anything tomorrow afternoon? No. Because uh, I, was, I was thinking maybe you'd, you'd maybe want to go out with me. Like, I don't know, if you didn't have any other plans or anything. No, I, I don't. That would be nice. Really? Yeah. Great. I guess uh, maybe I'll pick you up around noon. Okay. Dress casual. Okay. Later. Bye. Where are we going? 
Come on, it's over here, not far. Huh? That's yeah. where I work at. For so what? You play football, I do logging. You know, lumberjack events. Tree climbing, sawing, log rolling, that kind of stuff. There's a there's a tournament next month. I'm defending regional all-around champ. Congratulations. Here, put these on. You'll love this. Jody and Heidi, they're crazy about their sister. It's only you. Like, I don't even exist or something. I never meant for any of this to happen. You know that. But you're right. I've only been thinking about myself lately, and I'm sorry, too. Are we sisters again? I'm just a joke at school. <sighs> Tiffany Upchurch is a dip. Right. <laughs> Guess what? I'm going out after the next game with Scott Massey. Are you kidding? <laughs> That's great. This time you have to do it right, okay? Okay. What are you going to wear? I don't know. You have any ideas? My beige sweater. No, it's too small. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You may call it football. I don't call it football. 10-7. That's a legitimate win, Mr. King. 10-7. I wouldn't call it decisive. Sprint on one. Centers on one. Ready? Right. Woo! Did you see that? measurements are if I have a boyfriend. What am I supposed to say to them? <laughs> what does her mean? You just think you're just hot stuff because everyone's been making such a deal about you. I do like... not. I hate it. Bull! What do you mean hey, bull? Hey, you hey, never hey. even say hey, anything listen, about the left you always... Stop it now. There's no room for bickering in this house. Do you understand? Dad, I was not bickering. Why now, do you wait a minute. So all quiet. this attention is like a puff of smoke. It's going to blow away before you know it. But before it does, we're all going to be affected by it in one way or another. The important thing is we all have to stick together. We're a family, right? Right. 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 Okay. Let's see. Gidget! Coming, Mommy! Gidget! Gidget come on! Hurry! Okay. I spent the night at Perry's. Oh, man. It's really wild. Oh. All right. John 
Elliott. Here. Darlene Fox. Here. Carolyn Hobbs. Here. Deanna Lyons. Here. Janelle Lee. Here. Tammy Maida. Here. Well, we are honored to have the lady athlete in our classroom. Thank you. Dale Petrie. Dale Petrie. Here. Thank you. Ken Richards. Hey. Hey. You're new here, right? Yeah. How come you haven't been in to see me? I'm sorry, I don't know. Oh, I don't I'm, know I'm Scott Massey. I'm a school orientation officer. They didn't tell you about me, right? They? No, I'm sorry. See, I'm, uh, I'm responsible for making sure uh, new students are familiarize with the school. Like, for instance, do you... Uh, you know where the library is? Lunch room? Gym? The principal's office? No. Kind of stuff? See, that's what I'm here for. Help you out. Like, if you got a question or uh, you want to go to a movie or something. Damn, we met Scott already, huh? Figures. I not believe a word he says. Damn. Why do I know that name, huh? Tammy Maida. Come on, Tammy Maida, our new quarterback. What, the female football player? No, you're not. I mean, she's got to be... You are? <laughs> Come on, what is this, a joke, huh? No. She really is. Yeah. You really are. <laughs> Um, it was, it was nice meeting you. I'll see you later. Come on! Oh, damn. I'd make a great homecoming princess. I'm perfect. <laughs> I can't believe it. You gotta vote for me. <laughs> I think I'm the best Between me and Scott. Nothing. Look at Tiffany Upchurch. I've never seen anyone campaign so hard for homecoming. <sighs> Listen, I'll see you later, okay? We gotta go. Okay, see ya. I told you, a female couldn't hold up. You've been on my back all season. We are six and one and in the championship. Now, is there anything wrong with that? Yeah, but now you've got a hole at quarterback. Now we're going to see what kind of a coach you are. All right, Friday's it. It's the last game. We do not want to end the season with two losses, right? Right! We do not want to lose. Right! right so what are we going to do about it? Win! What are we going to do? Win! I can't hear you guys. Win! That's right. So no last week let up. I want 110% from every one of you on every play at every practice. You got it? Yeah! All right, hit it! Oh! All right, offense, defense, down here. Let's go. Easy on that ankle, Mato. Okay, we're going to work some diving plays, huh? Okay, we'll go red, 34 dive on one, okay? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Forgot to mention, I nominated you for Homecoming Princess. <laughs> oh, you what? Homecoming Princess, I nominated you. <laughs> By now, you're all familiar with the Grizzlies girl quarterback. Well, now her classmates at Minville High have nominated her for Homecoming Princess. Oh, B.J. Kane, their all-state center, is running for Miss Oregon. I've been talking with the coach and the kids in the office. Miss Tammy, if you're going to run for homecoming, Princess, you'll need a beautiful gown and stuff. Oh, yeah, I bet they cost a lot of money. Uh, let's talk about it later, okay? Female quarterback, what an interesting situation. The coaches are very high on her. She's got great energy. The kids are all behind You just said her. Yeah, it's my daughter, Tammy. Your daughter? Tammy wants to be a football player. Mm -hmm. Well, golly, uh, sure would like to have Tammy on my team. 
but the uh, school board would never go for it. It's my tough luck. Are you saying we have to go to the school board first? Tell me something. Why in hell would you want to push your daughter into a man's sport like football? Don't you have any sons at home? No. And if I did, I wouldn't push them into playing football either. But if that's what they wanted to do, I'd try to give them the opportunity to do it. It's what Tammy wants. So when is this school board meeting? It's uh, a week from Friday. Good. We'll be there. Any other questions? Just one. What position does Tammy play? Quarterback. That's perfect. <laughs> has to vote on whether you even get a chance to try out. If they approve, then you get to bump heads with the rest of the team and show them what you can do. But I don't think the coach is going to be on your side. Still want to go through with it? Yeah. OK. We're with you all the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, you know. Let's gather them up and move them out. Let us in to see. Well, the dress is no good? Oh, it's great. This bonehead mouthed off. I said she looks a little effeminate. I'm just glad the Hawks won't see her looking like that. Why not? She's, she's like a older person. Like who? Like a woman. Be there. You can't be no. <laughs> hey, Tammy, we voted for you. Thanks. Hey. Stop looking like that. I'm not winning. I'm You're not gonna... so cynical. I'm not going to. Tammy. Oh. Tammy, I just wanted to wish you well in the election. May the best man win. Thank you, Tiffany. No hard feelings. You and I haven't been real close, have we? No, and I regret that. Sincerely? Desperately. I've kind of enjoyed it. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> Stop. Don't laugh right there. It makes it worse. <laughs>
Canada. Hey there. How you doing? 